All right, hi, I'm Tracy Gibson with EXP Realty, and I'm here with the Conklin Payette family. Um, we are going to talk about their home at 54 Pemberton Avenue, which is listed for sale right now. So I have some questions for the family, and uh, listen in. So, Jan, um, how did you and your husband, Jay, come to uh, purchase this home? I, I decided that our home in Oakhurst was a little too small. So my parents had friends that were real estate agents, like you and your husband, and I started talking to them, and I came and saw the house, and um, I went home and told my husband that I had bought an antique. And he said, oh, good, what kind? And I gave him a key and said, to our new house. Oh, my goodness. Of course, I hadn't <laughs> signed papers, but... That was the beginning of it. So, so back in 1960. 1960. Yep. Yep. Wow. So how did it feel that day that you guys actually closed on the house and it was yours? Probably overwhelming. I really can't remember. But I had a three-year-old and trying to work here on the house. And it was overwhelming, I think, at first. So, you, but had to, you, had to do a lot of, you had to do a lot of renovations, re restoration. But we did mostly painting first, okay. and then um, we refinished the floors. That was a big project. With you working with um, polyurethane, I believe, oh, wow. and that made my husband and my mother drunk one night for applying it. They both came home woozy because of the fumes. Oh wow! So I'm sure they've improved that now. The the odors, the aroma. Oh wow. <laughs> Any other any other stories about something unexpected that happened while you were trying to restore the house? The story yes. I've heard years after year <laughs> about the ceiling in the kitchen. Okay. My husband it was was starting to get weak and uh, the plasterboard, so he was trying to replace it and all of a sudden it came down. Oh my goodness! And that was a big mess, but it was a great mess because the beams are gorgeous. And that's what we, we wanted was the exposed yeah. beams. Was there anything else? Yes, there was, a, there was an old kitchen sink um, oh. that was porcelain. It was the sink and the drain board. And Dad decided that he wanted to put in a regular dishwasher and wanted to save the sink part but get rid of where the drain part was off to the side. So he took a saw to porcelain. Well, when you cut porcelain, it started shooting bits and pieces of porcelain all exploding, exploding oh all over the kitchen. So we had to evacuate the kitchen <laughs> until it got done exploding. Oh Needless to say, Dad had to replace the entire sink at that point. Sure, sure. So, um, I didn't it was know fun. This <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't introduce Debbie, but this is Debbie Payette and her husband, mm -hmm. Chuck. And Debbie um, uh, has lived in this house since she was, you said, three years old, was three. it? Mm -hmm. And um, as well as Chuck and Debbie's daughters, Lindsay and Corinne, you, they li you guys lived here for when they were teenagers? In high school. In high school. In high school. In high school. <laughs> and did any of your grandchildren ever live here? I think for we a short did. time, My right? first one. Yep. yep. So three generations have lived in this house. So. Uh, so anybody who wants to jump in on these other questions. Absolutely. So tell me about a memorable, but memorable day living here. Well, the moon, uh, my dad's birthday was the day that they landed on the moon, and we had a huge moon party um, when they actually walked on it. So it was a birthday and moon landing party. Um, we were just going over some of the memories from it. I mean, many, many parties and um, showers and proms and engagement parties, our engagement party, our daughter's engagement parties. Um, Surprise parties, um, memorials for people. Um, it, it was always open to anybody who wanted to come and stay, right? And my yeah. wedding, I mean, we got, you were in our wedding. Yes, yes. We were sitting, standing right here, yep. getting our photos taken before the, the, the yep. service. Absolutely. Yeah, we had some impromptu neighborhood things. Uh, when, particularly when the kids were older, we were just hanging out. It was a Labor Day weekend, and someone in the neighborhood came over and were sitting on the back porch. And then another came over. They started bringing food, so it turned out you know it was a party from morning till night. Wow! 
Yeah. Oh, and that's what's unique about this neighborhood, which you'll cover yeah. in, in a few questions. Sure, so. sure. So, um, for each of you, what's your favorite thing about this house? Start with Jane. The memories, of course. But I love the glass w windows. Some of them are etched with, with signatures. And when you're walking past the window, sometimes you go backwards because of the wave and, and all. And I just love that. So we never replaced the glass. And there also is a poem that someone who had lived here wrote about the house. So it's hanging right behind, behind us. us. Oh, okay. Which is still there. And will stay in the house. Mm -hmm. How about you, Deb? Okay. Um, I, I love the kitchen. I, I mean, I know, you know, I just love the ceilings. I love how country it feels. Um, I, the, there's a really neat walk-in pantry that goes under the steps that just, when I was little, I used to think that there was money hidden behind the walls <laughs> and stuff. And, um, and I, I don't want to take yours, but I love the carriage house out back. Um, you know, the, the two car or the two carriage. Um, it was a great old garage to have for, you know, the dressing room for the pool to playing, you know, hide and seek, and mm -hmm. it was just a fun place. I mean, My neighbor I, loved to keep his tools in that. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Be careful of Alan. Oh, watch out, watch out. <laughs> but uh, I kind of like the way, well, I like the, just the, the house reeks of history, but um, the way you can, it's circular, you can, you know, when there are all these parties here, you, know, you have to get yourself around, and there's a way around Right. People blocking doorways, so you can go the other way. Right. Yeah, it's a circular pattern. Yeah. 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 Um, and this can be any of you or all of you. Is there anything you wish you could have done to improve the house that you weren't able to do? Mom's first response was no. Yeah. Nothing else you, other than what you, you and Jay did. Yeah. Yep. Well, and then after he and passed, just, I knocked the whole back of the house out and they added the master suite. So, yeah, I mean, does. they, um, I mean, they had taken the, the porch that was like an outdoor porch and they, you know, converted that into more living space and then they added a four season room, which I thought was great. And I think the best thing that we did, and it's not a regret, but was add the mother and daughter on. So mom was still in her home. We were living here, but mom, was, it was still her home and she could come and go and sure. she had her own space. So nice. Yeah. Anything? Anything else? Nothing's jumping out. <laughs> okay, so um, what do you all like about living in Oceanport? Yeah. It's a small town. I, I mean, the schools. I mean, the racetrack has so much history. Um, and I just near everything. You know, the, the railroad to, for commuting to Manhattan. We can just hop on and be up there in a short sure. amount of time. And as seniors, it's very reasonable. So. Uh, <laughs> and it's near major grocery stores. Um, with mom now down in Delaware, we we take things um, for granted here. Yeah. How quickly we can get to <laughs> the train, how quickly we can get to an airport, um, where we can go to Bed Bath and Beyond, and um, you know by just going down the street. It's just there's everything is just so close, and you don't realize that until you're living in another area and you go. It's yeah. 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> oh, it's three yeah, hours thing. to an airport. Yeah. 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 So you don't realize oh, wow. that we're very spoiled <laughs> here. Yeah. Very and, convenient. and the best part is, is the neighborhood. We were just talking. Mm. Within a two block area from where we live, there are six homes that are occupied by people that either that grew up in this area, that, that I you know, that are still here. So it's not an area where people are constantly changing. Mm. Um, and our neighbors are wonderful. They have block parties. Um, Christmas know. parties where yeah. everybody's invited. And yeah. Um, pig roast. Pig roast. Pig roast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and everybody, yes, our neighbor does store his tools in our in our <laughs> garage because we have extra room. And, um, you know, it's just that's the kind of and Sometimes they become your tools because he forgets. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, we had a neighbor next door after Sandy. We had lost some shingles off of our roof, and there was a snowstorm coming. And he, you know, of course you couldn't get anybody, and he went up on our roof and fixed it. And, you know, and that's the, that's the neighborhood we live in. Great. Anything, Chuck? Uh, like, if, if just down the street, right near an inlet, there's 
tons of wildlife, you never know what's going to be there. Yeah. It's just a nice mm -hmm. little walk. Um, but when we were training for marathons, too, you, you, you don't have to run on busy roads. You get to the other part of the town and up and down these quiet streets and sure. you can get your mileage in. Which nice. You'd yeah. be surprised how many streets you got to run up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Debbie and her brother went to school in Oceanport, and so did Deb and Chuck's kids. So would you guys like to share anything about the schools? Um, you also yeah, work I, in the schools. I, I do. Um, I went to school there, as Tracy just said. My, our kids went there. Um, unfortunately, not our grandbabies. Um, but I work there. I've been there since 1986. Um, and it's a family. Um, the teachers are phenomenal. Um, they care about their students. And um, so what are some of your favorite restaurants that you like to go to? Oceanport has two of them. They're phenomenal um, that we like. Um, one is the um, Oceanport uh, Marina. Um, it was part of Fort Mummet. It used to be the, where their, um, the military used to be able to keep their boats there. And they've okay. ended up turning it into a wonderful restaurant right on the water. So you'll have people outside crabbing and fish eating and you know birds waiting to eat the fish. And um, while you're having dinner, they have an, um, which is nice just to be able to go down and sit outside. We can walk there, which is nice. And then there's uh, Mia, which is a, a wonderful Italian restaurant right in town. And then real close to us is um, the Kitchen Witch in Mammoth Beach. Oh, okay. Which is an amazing restaurant. Mm -hmm. And Chuck, I, what yeah, about pizza? Well, Luigi's right down the street in Little Silver. There's a ice cream place there, but we don't go there as much as we used to. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, all right, so, and what do you wish for the next owners of this home? that they would enjoy it as much as I have and have as much happy memories as we've had over the years. Just, yep, just want, you know, the memories to continue. Want somebody who's going to love and appreciate and just take this home and enjoy it and just, you know, to continue to... The uniqueness of it. Yep. And Chuck, I thought your, your mm -hmm. what we were discussing, your yep. point. Yeah, it'd be nice. We have we have our 50 year history or 50 plus year history here in this house. Um, we talked about that, uh, what's on the wall written by uh, Mr. Smith about his family and his history of the house. So I hope the next people who move in here have their own interview, say 50 years from now, reminiscing about uh, you know, their, their memories here. That'd be great. That's wonderful. All right, very good. Well, thank you all for being here and, and talking to me about this great house. Um, this property is 54 Pemberton Avenue. If you'd like to read more about it, you can go to my website at gibsonsellshomes.com. Again, this is Tracy Gibson from EXP Realty, and you can also give Tim, my husband and business partner, or myself a call at 732-858-5573.